Square dance on the back of your skull 
Fangen wir mal an. Willkommen. Hallo. Buenos Dias. So. Ich würde ja vorschlagen, wir 
gucken wir, wer schon teilgenommen hat bei der Verlosung. Ob da ein glücklicher Gewinner schon bei ist. Early Mike. GZ. Was haben wir denn noch Schönes, was wir verlosen können? So was. Machen wir so was. Und vielleicht noch Coins, genau. Da machen wir aber einen Code drauf. Ich wo? Code. So. Dann muss ich den noch setzen. Was überlegen wir uns? 13. So. Start. Läuft das schon mal? Muss ich bloß noch ausfüllen. 11, 12, 13. Go. Gut. <lacht> so, Code läuft. Das läuft, das läuft. Können wir loslegen. Nö. Ne? Machen wir so. Die Bots, die nicht ins Stream schauen, die kriegen dann auch nichts mit, wie der Code war. So. Mache ich hier eigentlich? Habe ich hier gestern nur gehört? Gute Frage, nächste Frage. Dollar Kopfgeld, hat bezahlen wir mal. Erd, wo bist du? Fährt. Ja, ich weiß. Hübsches Pferd. Machen wir mal sauber. So. MMM. Das ist der mit dem Angeln, ne? Ich bin gar nicht so der Angler. Also mit überholen hat das nicht so. Mit Autopilot. Oder? Doch. Okay.
können wir ein bisschen Autopilot reiten. Okay. Schmeißt für mich aus dem Autopiloten raus. Dann reiten wir manuell. Schon mal eine Flinte auswählen. Ja. Und das speichern. Ja, ja. Da hängt die da. Hast du die Soffen oder was? Dutch, der Verräter. Crush us. I hope so. But if we let Jack and the women free, well then yeah, maybe we can freedom for no one in this country no more, Arthur. One more big score, we got enough money to leave. All this turmoil has the army and Pinkerton spinning. We take a boat and slip away. I don't know what you're saying, Dutch, but it seems like I've heard it all before. Just one more. That's always a goddamn train. Arthur, <coughs> this is different. We know this is full of cash. 
Army payroll, money and supplies to repair the bridge that you blew. This is all going to plan. We rob Uncle Sam and we leave. <laughs> the poetry of it all. What do you think? It sounds wonderful. Hell, yeah. I ain't got much to lose, but... You know, the women and the children. And John and his family. I'm afraid I have to insist. I mean, we gotta let them go, because if the Pinkertons come through again, they will kill everyone. John? Insist? Yeah. Insist. Of course, pal. Whatever you think is best, I will. See to it, huh? Now, are we gonna rob a train? Sure. We will survive. We will flourish. We have work to do, my friends. Let's go. Come on. We are gonna borrow a little money from old Uncle Sam and be out of his hair once and for all. He insists upon it. Let's ride out, gentlemen. Let's go. Yeah. Eternal ignite. Hello, welcome. Yay, 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 yay. Should be just through these trees. There it is. <laughs> I'll get the dynamite. No, I can do it. You sure? I'm fine. Okay, it's in the back. Hole das Dynamit. Holen wir. Huh? Ach, da. just told me the money it's hidden in the caves at beaver hollow what yeah so much for never hiding it near camp dutch was getting even sloppier than we thought are abigail and jack ready to leave i think so okay whatever happens with this job today <laughs> wherever dutch and them go next we're getting you the hell out of here we're going to get you the money you need Knowing the three of you got out, well, maybe all of this will still mean something. <laughs> Tilly and Susan, too. I'll do whatever it takes. You've always had my back, Arthur. Well, uh, perhaps not always. Anyway, here we go. One last train, Arthur. One last One train. Last train.
It's always one last train. <laughs> Genau. <lacht> Sadie reitet den um. Was ist denn das hier für ein Gewehr? Ich drehe hier noch durch.
attention! Cost now! Let's keep moving! Let's get to the front! Come on! That's it for you! Keep pushing forward! Jump! Whoa. 
Holy shit. <laughs> Ay, ay, ay. Turns up. Gotta let her go. John's a... Uh, well, sorry, son. Without John, she's just bait. Got a bunch of money, Dutch. She's just a girl. They won't do nothing to her. But me and the boys know. Yep. We need to keep riding on this one, Dutch. You know it. Every man here knows so we it. We just gonna let the boy be made an orphan? It, it ain't like that. It's what is it like? I wanna live, cowpoke. I still got the choice, Dutch. It's just a girl. You're right. Uh, Micah, it pains me to say it, Arthur. But he is right. Touch! Come on, boys. Yeah. Just a good. That's that, then. All them goddamn years. Come on, Arthur. Let's go get her. You and me is all we need. Miss Tilly. Here, take this. You take this money, too. Take Jack, and you wait at Copperhead Landing for Abigail and Mrs. Adler. Thank you, Arthur. You're a good girl. You live a good life now, you hear? All right, Arthur. I'll... I'll miss... Me too, sweetheart. Me too. Jack, come here. Be brave, son. I'm gonna go get your mama. Mrs. Adler, but me, ride with me. Yeah. Yeah. If they're putting her on a boat, they'll probably dock at the north end of town. So I reckon we should go in the other way. Sure, I guess. Oh, God, those goddamn bastards. Look, just follow me, okay? We're gonna get this done, Arthur. his friend's child so long as he gets rich all his goddamn talk all them years seems like it was always a lie or he went crazy what a mess sure guess he began to believe he was god or something i don't know 
I'm sorry you got dragged into this. In a... Hey! Us. Listen, if you hadn't shown up in my house that night, I'd be dead. And even this bullshit beats dead. I thought I could find a way to get John, Abigail, and Jack out of this mess. Give them a life. Seems I left it too late. If we could still get Abigail, maybe her and Jack will be okay. John, Hosea, Mac, Avi, Jenny, Sean, Lenny. We have to put an end to this. <coughs> an eagle flies. Another angry fool he used just like he did with the rest of us. Like I said, Arthur, we don't need them. We're gonna make this right. Me and you together. What's left of it. Now, come on. Okay, here we are. Let's ditch the horses and come up with a plan. How you feeling? I'm okay. I think you should cover me and I'll go in there and get her. Cause you're the better shot, I mean. That ain't what you mean. I can still fight. I know, Arthur. But just do it my way, honey. It's for the best. Get up someplace high, like the lighthouse or something. And cover me. Please. Ich wusste doch, mit dem Leuchtturm hatten wir irgendwas zu tun. Habe ich schon mal in einem Stream gesehen.
Wow, wow, wow. Ich sehe nichts. Ach, da unten. Hey, schon wieder. Verdammt. Huch. Ja, geh mal oben. Sind die noch einer da oben? Mr. Milton?
down, Mr. Morgan. That's quite a cough. Sure. Tuberculosis. I'll be dead soon. And you with me, Mr. Milton? You'll be dead, sure. But I'm gonna be just fine. We offered you a deal, Mr. Morgan. You should have taken it. I'm a fool, Mr. Milton. Not all you boys have quite so many scruples. Old Micah Bell? Micah? You mean Molly? Molly O'Shea? Sweated her a couple of times, never talked a word, had to let her go. Micah Bell. We picked him up when you boys came back from the Caribbean. And he's been a good boy ever since. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Using your strength, Mr. Morgan. You're still a yapping dog, Mr. Milton. Oui. Horrible man. <laughs> now come on, both of you. Find the horses. We need to get the hell out of here. What happened to Jack? Where is he? Wo ist das andere Gewehr? Verdammt! to John. Where's John? I, I don't know. Arthur. 
He... What? He got killed or he what? got captured. No. I'm really sorry. No! Abigail, I'm, I was on the train and I didn't see it. No! Listen. No. We got Jack. He's safe. No. Mrs. Adler will take you to him. But, John, no. I want you to know this. He loved you. Wir machen mal einen neuen Code. Ne? Was haben wir denn? 26 hatten wir. Was wäre 26? New Code. Multiple Choice. 44, 45, 46, 47. So. Machen wir mal 44. Speichern. Na, doch ein bisschen größer das Fenster. So. Open. No. He loved you and Jack, he did. He wasn't perfect, but he did. You gotta go get that boy. Come on, get out of here. Arthur, what are you doing? I gotta go have a little chat before I get much sicker. No, Arthur. Don't you owe Arthur me. Neither of you two. Not now. You both know. You're good women. Good people. Best. You go get that boy. There'll be time for sorrow later. If you're headed back there, Arthur, take this. I don't need it anymore. What's that? There's a chest in the caves. In the back to the left. Hidden under a wagon. Duchess chest. All our money. I know John told you I knew where it was. Abigail Roberts. Always was a good thief. That she was. <laughs> Go on, get out of here. Ja. I just wish you'd done it before he worked yourself into the grave. I'm really sorry for you, son. It's a hell of a thing. And all you can do now is decide the man you want to be for the time you have left. Ich 
Thank you, fella. You know, there ain't enough kindness in this world, that's for sure. Maybe it's a sign, Arthur. Try. Try to do the good thing. Get them bags packed up quick, Miss Grimshaw. Come on, all of you. Well, we're doing our best. Hurry, we ain't got long. Hurry. We just got plenty of time, Micah. We all need to have a little chat. Blacklong, you're back. Hooray. <laughs> I just saw Agent Milton Dutt. Abigail shot him. She's okay. Not that you care too much about that, you wretch. All of you. Seems old Micah was pretty close with Milton. What the hell are you talking about, Capo? You talked. That's a goddamn lie. Dutch. Dutch. Think of the future. Milton told me. <laughs> and you believe him, Black Lung? You believe him? It all makes sense now. No, it damn well doesn't. Dutch, think. Dutch, be practical now. Dutch! John? You left me. You left me to die. My boy, I didn't have a choice. John, I didn't. I didn't have a choice. Left me! All of you, you pick your side now because this is over. All oh, them years, Dutch. This snake. <laughs> oh, be quiet, cowpoke. Be quiet. You live in the clouds. No, you be quiet, Mr. Bell, and put down your gun. There's Pinkerton's coming fast. <laughs> Now! Who amongst you is with me? And who is betraying me? Well, I'm here. Think. Think for yourself. He's lying. He's lying. Put your guns down! God damn it! Move! <clears throat> you ready, John? Yeah. Everyone get down! Keep moving! I got just up ahead! Take them down now! Those bastards! 
bastards left me for dead. Seems that's what they do now. Hey, right Let's go, Arthur. Push. Enjoy watching you bleed. Michael was the rat, John. Milton told me. <coughs> we should have killed him months ago. Keep going. I'm with you. Keep going. Stay with me, Arthur. Arthur, you go up first. I want them out of there now. Dead or alive. <laughs> Abigail. Abigail's safe. So's Jack. Where are they? It was Sadie. The Copperhead Land. Thank you, brother. I want you to not look back. Like I said. Nein! Falsche Richtung! Mensch, ist das duster. Die Säugen gehen geradeaus weiter reiten. Los. Ah shit. Die Schweine! Shit. 
So this kid up this cliff. Yeah. Here you go. Come on, Arthur. Keep pushing. Do that, folks. I gotta move. Get behind a rock. God damn it. They're everywhere. Get out. Come on, let's go. You go. Keep pushing, Arthur. No. <coughs> no. I think I've pushed all I can. Come on. You go. We ain't got time for this. Not now. We ain't both gonna make it. Go. Now. I'll hold them up. It would mean a lot to me. Please. There ain't no more time for talk. Go. Arthur. Go to your family. Arthur! Get the hell out of here and be a goddamn man. You're my brother. Die! Oh. 
It's over. Oh, God. He's right. You know it, and I know it. He's sick. He's dying. He's talking crazy. Come on, Dutch. Let's go, buddy. We made it. <laughs> we won. Come on. Sean made it. He's the only one. <laughs> the rest of us. I tried. In the end, I did. Come on. Let's go. We can make it. Come on, Dutch. Come on! Why, Arthur? <laughs> That's hard. That was close. Too close. We brought that trouble on ourselves. By we, you mean me. The one me who went and shot him. Seemed like he deserved shooting. 
I'm sure he did. But I've been thinking, ain't it about time you stop being the man making them decisions? I'm trying. Are you? I think so. We gotta find some place to lay low. Keep quiet. <sighs> Maybe Gus was right. Maybe we should've just gone to Tahiti. Is that it with you? Tahiti or killing? Come on, John. Please, try. Try what? We gotta live somewhere for more than just a few weeks. Okay. Let's see if we can find an in strawberry. What do you know about strawberry? I know they like good, honest, hard-working men a whole lot more than angry killers. So make yourself good and honest. I am always honest. Maybe not always good, but I'm always <laughs> honest. My whole life I've been surrounded by fools with moral codes. Here's the moral code. Look out for folks. Stop trying to act like some hero in a book. What do you know about heroes in books? My reading's getting pretty good. Well, read different books then. The books is Jack's. And, well, maybe he's doing most of the reading, but still. You're a bad influence on your mother, boy. Boy? Sorry, sir. What was that? I said you're a bad influence on your mother. Which books? Which books was that? You know, that dime novel, or Boy Calloway and the Men from the Moon, or whatever it was. I'll do my best to find better reading material, Pa. Is that what you like, man? Western tales? Boy. What's that, sir? Do you enjoy tales of the Wild West? Not so much. Anymore? I've been reading about knights. You know, of the round table. The king. What's his name? There's King Arthur. And there's Sir Lancelot. And the little lady Guinevere. And a whole lot of others. Those names. I kind of like them. You know what? So do I. Strawberry, don't it? I got a good feeling about this place. Been a long time. Why don't you pull up just here? I'm gonna go see what kind of good, honest work I can find. Grave digging or polishing some rich fella's boots or some such? Me too. See if me and the boy can find some laundry work or something. Hello. Help you, son? I'm hoping I can help you. I saw the help wanted sign outside. Sure, but, uh... You're a bit old to be stacking groceries and running errands, ain't you, son? Well, uh, I ain't too proud to do nothing. As long as it's honest and it pays. <laughs> Time's hard, Mr. Uh, uh, Milton. Jim Milton. Yeah, my wife and I and our boy, we was robbed mm. a few days ago. Lucky to get out with our lives, we was. Now, uh, well, we need money. Uh, there's bad folk out there. Yeah, tell me about Not a it. wagon by any chance? Sure. Well, then maybe you could run some goods up to Pronghorn Ranch for me. You know, uh, head west past Doan Gila, then follow the road north, lead you right there. I, I don't know where that is, but I'm sure I can find it. I can leave right now if you it, like. It's Getty's place. Fine fella. Uh, where's the wagon? It's just outside. Um, yeah, I should go tell my wife, and then I can come back and get loaded. No, my boys can load you up while you go find your wife. Okay.
Lauft schon, lauf! Some ranch. Cleaning a doctor's surgery. Fine living. It is, John. Oh, it is. This is the way to it. I'll take your word on that. Well, what do you suggest now? I'll stay here. Get on with the work. You deliver them goods and then collect me. Okay. And John, I love you. Don't you forget that. Not ever now. I won't. Ja. Was war das nochmal für ein Code? Let me see. 44. Close. 44. Good luck, everyone. Congratulations. To the winners. Ah, Moment. Machen wir noch eine. nicht so schnell fahren.
Yup, yup. Nur nicht so schnell fahren, sonst geht noch was kaputt. schon wieder so eine Falle aus. It's a trap. Das ist die Welt, genau. Mr. Geddes? No, sir. I'm Mr. Dickens, his overseer. Jim Milton. 
I'm delivering some supplies from the store in Strawberry. Okay. This is quite a place. Yes, it's beautiful. Oh. They send everything? Yeah, I think so. So, partner, your boss, he looking for hands? Why? You looking for work? Yeah. My wife, we was in business with her family and turned sour. It's a long story. Yeah, I don't know. Married hands. It's a lot of trouble. I'm a good worker. My wife, Agatha, even our boy, Lancelot. We'll all work. Big man around, boy? Get the hell out of here. <laughs> now, that ain't very neighborly. And threatening us is neighborly. <laughs> hey, mind if I enjoy one of these apples? Put that down. <laughs> Delicious. Oh, <laughs> when's uh, Boss Man gonna sell this place, boy? I don't think there's any plans for that. You boys want a drink? <laughs> it's some fine scotch whiskey. Put that down. Put that down. Oh, these supplies for the season. Get off the farm. Come on. <laughs> we know when we're not wanted. Get down from there. <laughs> Bye, bud. <laughs> you come back here. <laughs> you can use that horse. Go easy on him. We can't have trouble here. That's my damn wagon. Nein. Thank you. Milton, isn't it? Those boys are out of Laramie, work for Mr. Abel. Thank you. Don't mention it. Listen, I ain't looking for no charity or nothing, but I was serious. You got work? We'll work. I can do anything. We got... We got robbed ourselves a few days back. We ain't got married hands here. You're married. I work harder than any one of them. I'm real honest, and my wife... Even though she's got fancy thoughts, she'll work. Seem kind of desperate. What trouble you in? No trouble, sir. Aside from her brother. He tricked us and robbed her of her inheritance. We're good people. We'll work. Even Lancelot. <laughs> what does Mr. Geddes need with a boy? Just another mouth to feed. Just please give us a chance. I can handle myself, okay? You know that already. Yeah. Makes me wonder just who would have robbed you. But we'll give you a chance. I'll let Mr. Geddes know when him and his wife return tomorrow. Thank you, Mr. Dickens. I'll go get my wife. Nah, no, you stay here. It's getting late. We'll go get her in Strawberry. We'll bring her here tomorrow. We need you around in case any more of them Laramie boys turns up. There's a, a little cabin out yonder past the ranch house. If things work out, y'all can stay there. Thank you. Will not regret this. Yep. Get yourself settled. We'll have work for you tomorrow when Mr. Geddes returns. Epilogue. Part one.
Get over here. Mr. Geddes, this is the new ranch hand I told you about. Well, I heard you had some trouble with your welcome, but you kept your nerve and protected my property. No, it was nothing, sir. Hmm. I'm David Geddes. Pleased to meet you. John, Jim, <laughs> Milton. Thank you for the opportunity, sir. You and Mr. Dickens. Well, you work hard. You be honest, you'll get your keep. I promise you that. Boy has a family. Oh, lucky man. Then you better work extra hard. Good day, Howdy, sir. gentlemen. Sir. You hear that, John, Jim? Extra hard. Hey, hey, get over here. Mr. Dickens? Go find old Jim Milton here something to do. Make sure he works extra hard. Sure, Mr. Dickens. <laughs> Come on this way. I, I was on my chores anyhow. Say, is that your family getting in the wagon up there? Ah, uh, believe it is. Mind if we go welcome them? Not at all. Hey, is it true what they said about you when you arrived? It, that you ran off those hired guns? Look, can we uh not discuss this in front of my wife? Oh, uh, no, sure. Yeah, of course, mister. I don't want to worry her. Oh, yeah. I hear that. Mrs. Milton! Jim Milton? How fine you seem. This kind man just collected us? Thanks, sir. I think we can be okay here. It's ranching work. This place is kind of... It's fine. But I hear you began your career in branching by throwing your weight around. Real wise, Jim. What was I supposed to do? The place was getting robbed. So you show everyone who's boss? Real fine. I didn't have much of a choice. I gotta go. Jack, when you're done in here, come on out and lend a hand. Hi, Eric. I come. I was going to milk the cows. Come on. I'll do it. You hey. are gonna milk the cows? Sure. <laughs> Why not? Oh, uh, I don't know. I thought you was, uh... I'm a ranch hand. A new one, at that. When you got here, them hired guns? I was just getting my wagon back. That's all. Weren't nothing. Oh, it weren't nothing. It's about time someone stood up to them fellers. Oh, where are you from anyway, partner? Around, you know, up north, mostly. Been these parts before, but that was years ago. Oh, <laughs> it's changed. The rich fellas are coming in and buying everything, the ranches. But, well, it ain't as wild as it once were, at least. There is that. Say, if it ain't too personal a question, are you a gunslinger, mister? Good lord, no. Nothing like that. Oh. Just a ranch hand, then. Just a ranch hand. Failed at a bunch of things, like most men. <laughs> well, I feel a whole heap better having a ranch hand like you around. That is for sure. <laughs> Let's see how you feel once you see me work. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. Here's the cows. We used to have a bunch of women here did most of the milking. But most of them drifted off. Okay. You fine with milking? You know, I ain't really done much of it. I never, never really get the hang of it. Are you serious, mister? Sure. It's Jim. Jim Milton. Hey, just sit down. I'll show you how. Approach her calm now. She don't take too kindly to surprises. Hey, Paul. Is that your boy? Sure. Hey, 
Lancelot. Well, hey, Lancelot. Hey. We're gonna make a dairy maid of your paw yet. <laughs> I never thought I'd see the day. Watch and learn, partner. We That's all gotta good. earn our keep. Come on. How about you and the boy uh, help me clean out the stables? Sure. Come on, son. How old are you now, Lancelot? Twelve, sir. Ain't that grand. It's such a fine name. I like it. I got... I got imaginative parents, sir. <laughs> I can tell. Now, it ain't pleasant work, but it's gotta be done. Mr. Dickens said... I know what he said. We'll do it. Won't we, boy? Okay. Well, you get them stalls cleaned out, and I'll see you later. Bye. Okay. Jack, let's just try and take some pride in this work, hard as it may be. Boy, bring that wheelbarrow over here and keep it close to me. Yes, sir. Moving up. You're a long way from Angelo Bronte's mansion now. Sorry, sir. Nothing. That stinks. Hat es Mist, der stinkt immer. This is a dog's work. <laughs> John Marston, terror of the terror. Reckon even your mother would say we're almost done here. You finish things up, I'll go check on her. Okay. Hey. Hey. Where's Jack? Shoveling shit in pursuit of the better life you want. Same as I've been. Won't do him no harm. I know. Guess maybe we can last here. Survive. Do a little better than survive for once. I'm tired of fleeing, John. So, well, you know. Me too. Put some coffee on. Thank you. 
Hey, Milton. Can you give me a hand with this fence? Sure. Know much about fence building? Not really. Can't build a fence, can't milk a cow, ain't used to shoveling shits, but took on a gang of robbers single-handed. Guess we all got our peculiarities, Mr. Dickens. What was you doing before you came here? I told you. Wife got cheated out of inheritance. We was in a legal dispute. It was a bad time. It sounds awful. But I guess I don't believe a word of it. I was raised to take a man at his word. And also to believe this is a free country. It's so free that I can't tell you what to think. So I guess it don't much matter what you believe. But I will work hard and I learn fast. Okay. Give me a hand with this fence. Now, yep. there's plenty more to do. Pound it in there. We don't want it coming down. Good. Now grab a rail, line it up with a notch, and place it in. Your boy could do this quicker. Now, lift up the other side. We gotta line up, see? Now the next rail. That's it. Okay. Good. That looks okay. Go to the next post and pound that in. I hope you've grasped the basics. I got other matters to attend to, but there's more than a day's work here for you. All right. So long. I'll be counting sections when you're done. Okay. Nice to meet you. Well, let's try and move this great hunk of chuck. Let's talk. How am I going to 
calm this thing down. You don't look like you're gonna wind down. <laughs> but I'll try. Oh, there. Oh, there. Easy. Easy. There. There, there. It ain't so bad. Nice and easy now, boy. All better? Okay. <laughs> Now come on, you hunk of chuck. This way. Got him, Mr. Dickens. Oh, good. How you doing, son? A bit sore, but I'll be okay. Thank you, Mr. Milton. My pleasure. And you, mister? Fine. He just got my head. <laughs> yeah. There he is. See you later, Jim Milton. We'll make a rancher of you yet. Next day, hey, I'll get the coffee on. Thank you. I'm headed to work today myself, Jack. Huh? So you stay out of trouble. Where are you working? I told you, I'm cleaning at the doctor's office. Bye. Bye. <laughs> get the place to tidy. Okay, Pa. I'll see you later. around here real nice, aren't they? I said I don't rightly know, Mr. Getty, sir. Well, what good is that to me? We got three horses lost, possibly more, a mare about to foal, sir, and no hands to help with any of it. I'm supposed to be heading into town. This place is chaos. Hey, Pa! Can I get some help? Pa! Milton, Milton, you good with horses? I'm okay. I'll do whatever needs doing, sir. Good man. Can you help my boy, my youngest, Duncan? He will insist on riding Jeremiah, a horse that is far too strong for him. And my wife will need help with this mare. Abe? Sir? You and Dickens better not make any more mistakes like you did today, you hear? No, sir. Thank you. Both of you. Come on, he's over here. I'm good. You get off. Go find them horses. No, no, no. I'll show you. Since you showed up, runaway horses been to some of our problems. And I am thankful for that. I ain't done too much. I ain't much of a rancher. Oh, heck. Hey, maybe them Laramie boys weren't so tough after all. Hmm? Maybe I could have handled it. Of course you could. They're just loud mouths. Yeah. So, uh, is that what the boss is doing in town? Some business with them boys or something? Well, when Mr. Gettys goes into town, well, it ain't exactly for, uh, business. Oh. Uh, okay, then. All right. He'll be just at the end there. Well, I better get to. Thanks, kid. You Duncan? I'm Jim. Jim Milton. Hey. Relax. You hang with that horse? No. Well, <laughs> you sure about that? Okay, yes. Yes, I do. Hey, now. Pretty big one. That's oh, Jeremiah. hey. Easy now. Okay, Jeremiah. There, boy. Come on. Easy, boy. Oh, someone put some onions on their oats, didn't they, boy? Oh, calm down. He likes you. I ain't sure he likes any of us, but... I'll make him respect me and behave. 
Can't you teach me how to make him behave same way as he does for you? I'm supposed to go help your mother. She's got a horse in full. That'll take hours. Well, training a horse can take hours. Just give me a quick lesson, sir. Please. Okay. We're okay. I'm gonna take him out first. Burn some of this heat off of him. Okay. I'll wait in the crowd. Energy? Show me then. Come on. Let it all out of you. Come on. Where's that big mean horse? Ready for you. Okay. Get on up there. And go nice and slow. Stay calm. Me? The horse. You're calm. The heart's beating a little. Keep your voice calm and your legs strong. Don't let old Jeremiah sense fear. I won't. Doing fine. Real nice. Not that I'm saying you need one, but you sure there isn't another horse you ride around here? I had a pony, but I'm too grown for him now. Yeah? You think my son could borrow one? Huh? Lancelot? Yeah. Sure. I'll get it hitched by your cabin there. All right. Thank you, son. Can I ask, are we in trouble from all these Laramie boys? They say Mr. Abel's real rich. Way richer than Pa, and he's got all these hired guns out of Laramie, and if Pa doesn't sell, well, they'll come here and they'll... Hey, easy there. You don't have to worry about all that. You just worry about Jeremiah there. Yeah, but... But... Just worry about the horse. Yeah? Yes, sir. I think you two might be ready to go out without a chaperone. Oh, I'm not sure about that. You're good. Nice and easy now. Both of you. You, Mr. Milton? I thought you were gonna help me. I am. I was. I'm sorry. Come on. I need a man's help. Duncan, what have I told you about distracting the hands? I'm sorry, Ma. <sighs> well, I hope you'll listen to me better than my Thank husband. you, Mr. Milton. You're doing fine, kid. Give him a carrot when you put him down. This is the song. I need you, Milton. Now! So, you know much about birthing a foal, Milton? Not too much. My God, where does my husband find men like you? Bill, we all know where he goes in town, and it ain't hunting for hands. It's not too hard. You just uh, stick a hand in there and get a feeling for where the legs are. Go on. Whatever you say, ma'am. Got him. Okay, now hold on. And pull. Grip <laughs> them. It'll come. <laughs> 
Okay, well, I think she's... Well, we're not out of the woods, but I think she may be okay. Great. We'll make a proper hand of you yet, Mr. Milton. I hope so. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, and Mr. Milton, feel free to make a call at the house sometime. Perhaps even now. A drink to toast our new arrival. <laughs> I'd like that, but my wife is expecting me back. Oh, you're married? I didn't know we had any married hands. Yeah, we, we have a boy. Maybe you've seen him around? Oh, uh, I'm, I'm busy. Uh, too busy for social calls. Of course. <laughs> Good day, Mr. Milton. Einsame Farmerin. <lacht> Maybe that stream. Good idea. And you know all this. Get him going. Come on. You know. The horse can feel your fear. Just act confident. Okay? Uh huh. Confident. Yep. Don't pull on the reins. You'll yank his bit out. Use your leg. There you are. Now let's go. Jack, a little kick and a... See, you can do it. How about you speed up a mic? Okay. Whoa. Now let's slow it down. Whoa, boy. Easy. Slow, Jack. Slow. Easy there. Okay, girl. Well done. 
Why don't we speed it up again? Okay. Come on. You know, this ain't so bad, sir. Good. Amazing what the right horse and a little confidence can do. How do I look? Better than before. Keep at it. Okay. Let's go across to the stream. Yes, sir. Here we are. Yep. We should get back. You think you're ready for a little race? I guess. All right. We go back to the path and up to the ranch. Okay. On my go. Go! You'll have to catch me! Last straight. Come on! Hey I beat you! I beat you! I Well beat ridden, son. <sighs> I beat you. Like I said, your riding has gotten so much better. Thanks. Hey, keep practicing your riding. You too. You need it. to Gettys, he's gonna sell this place. The only thing he needs to decide is... <laughs> you wanna watch your mouth, boy. You will be the first one we kill. Leave him alone. <laughs> oh, careful, boys. Careful. Yeah. Look at this tough guy. Get out of here. Oh, fancy pants Gettys paying you to be tough for him, huh? <laughs> no, he's paying me to keep the place clean. Oh. So he had some problems with vermin. Oh, listen to this. Real funny. <laughs> oh. Oh. You go get him Come now. on, get him. Oh, kick his head in, Bob. Oh. 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 Get off that man! Get off! He hit 
me first. Oh, you can fight, boy. I'll give you that. Well, how's your wife in the brawl? Leave my wife alone. Oh, she's real pretty. Get out of here. Oh, quite a temper you got. <laughs> Imagine you're you're frustrated with your lot in life. Married to a shit shoveling farmhand. <laughs> <laughs> what you do wrong to end up here? Leave my wife alone. Welcome to Big Valley, Jim Milton. Pleasure to meet you both. We'll see you again. And you, boy, tell Mr. Geddes we called. We'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Milton. Thank you. Don't worry about it. You stop acting like a goddamn storybook hero, will ya? What choice did I have? Plenty, you moron. Plenty. <laughs> Coin Unicorn, welcome. Hi. Welcome. We all get caught eventually, John. I guess the trick is to decide by who. Not here. I won't hear any more of it. You won't hear any of it. Not in front of the men. You toad. All right, smile, smile. Do not embarrass me. Mal gucken, was die Frau jetzt wieder will. I get now. Surviving. Think. Here. I'll get you some coffee. Only thing I know how to do is well, you know, undertakers like me, cattle, not so much. That ain't true. Ain't no rancher. Russell horses not raised them. Stole cattle, not birthed them. I was, I was reading the newspaper. I was reading about a old ranch, Beecher's Hope, down by Blackwater. Was you? Well, Jack read it to me, but I thought maybe we could raise some money. Bank could lend us the rest. We could be happy, John. We Bank could... loans? I got a goddamn price on my head, woman. I know. I know all about that. Every time we about to get somewhere, make something, you go and show the entire world that you ain't Jimmy Milton. Every place we've been has been the same. We start doing okay, and then boom, you act like the big man with the gun. Tired, John, and I guess I was dreaming a little. At least give me that. Just feels hopeless. I'm doing better. Milton. Milton, ma'am. Mr. Geddes needs you to head over to Strawberry in the wagon and collect some mail for him at the post office. Sure. I'll take the boy with me. He's getting soft. Lance a lot. Come on. Jim, if you're heading that way, can you pick up a parcel for me? A dress I ordered. I think it's in your name. My name. I think so. One's in your name, and the other one's in mine. O only one should have come in by now. What shopping you done? Oh, yes. A real keen purchaser of goods, me. Look at me. <laughs> Okay, Lancelot. I'll make a man out of you yet. Not too much of a man, mine. He's only a boy. Just gonna show him how to drive the wagon a little. We'll save the real exciting realities of adulthood for another day. Come on. Get! You take care now. Of course. It's not yeah. out of the house, huh? I like being in the house, Pa. Go back to the road, Pa. Life ain't just about doing things you like, boy. Yes, sir. You make that clear enough. What's that supposed to be? Only that you aren't so happy here with us. Son, I'm happy. It's just... I, I find it hard, is all. You'll understand someday. Here, 
take the reins a little? I, I don't know, Pa. Uh, <laughs> it's easy, boy. Don't be scared. Well, uh, w what do I do? Well, just hold them and pull them short to slow down. Tell them to go faster, give them a little switch. And then pull to one side if you want to turn. Here, try it out. Okay. That's enough. For now. That kid's strawberry, eh, kid? Looks like. You know, I think this is the longest I've seen you without a book in your hand. It was foolish to forget mine, sir. Look, I got some business to attend to with the clerk. I'll leave you with the wagon. And I trust you not to drive off with it? Oh, I think I can be trusted to that. Very good. I'm here to name my name uh, Jim Milton Jim Milton hmm. nope nothing here uh, maybe try Marston John Marston it's a long story okay John Marston Marston nope nothing here for that name either Try Abigail Roberts. Abigail Roberts. Abigail Roberts. Yes, here we are. And also, I'm here to pick up the deliveries from Pronghorn Ranch. David Getty sent me. Pronghorn? Yes, er, uh, oh, er, uh, sign here. We have a bunch of stuff for you. I will help you out. I'll take these. You get the rest of the stuff. Here, let me help you with this, Mr. Marston. Uh, it's uh, mostly Milton these days. It's a long story. Whatever you say, Mr. Milton. It's not important. Take care now. Give my regards to Gettys. Thank you very much, mister. Okay, let's get out of here. Everything okay, Pop? Sure. I hope so, at least. Here, you take the reins a little. I ain't sure. Come on, son. You'll enjoy it if you try a little harder. Okay. Okay, Pa. Okay, Pa. <laughs> We're going back to the wrong horn, okay? So, wait. We've come all the way out here, and we're just gonna turn around and go back? That's what we're doing. Turns out. I miss the seclusion of the ranch more than I think before. Don't you want to go to the store or the saloon or anywhere? We're going back. Okay, boy? But I've been sitting in this wagon I don't know how long. But you're not then. Keep on driving and watch the road. Yes, sir. Thank you. Jesus. Mind your father, okay? I got my reasons, even if I don't care to explain them. Yes, sir. Better.
All right, speed up. Let's get away from there. Okay. Be up. Faster. Yep. Who's this? Sorry, sir. Was that a question for me? No. No, keep driving. See that fallen tree? We would get there. Stop the wagon, jump down, and hide. Oh, Pa. You need to do exactly as I say, boy. Here, now! Uh, come on! Quick! Now! Okay, son. You wait here. You don't move or say nothing until I speak to you. You hear? Yes, sir. Head down. Okay, gentlemen, let's see what you come calling about. What do you boys want with us? Oh, we just want to have a friendly chat. Are you John Marson? You sure look like him. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just here with my son. Did you kill a fella out in Rowan Oak a few months back? No. Wasn't me. That was my brother. I'm real sorry, friend, but he was trying to rob me. You're talking bullshit, mister. Kill him. <laughs> close. Let's go. Come on. Get up. Oh, dear. Those men. I told you not to look, boy. Are they dead? I didn't have much of a choice. You saw that. Now, compose yourself. You killed them, Paul. Son, I need you to hold it together. Real brave back there. Real brave. Did exactly like I said. Really? Uh-huh. If you hadn't listened, things could have gone real wrong for us. Sure, but yeah, 
That kind of life might suit us. Wouldn't be such a chore if the horses we were cleaning up after was ours, would it? <laughs> no, it wouldn't. Mm. Eventful. Hmm. shot at shot at what happened well we got followed and then we... followed by who probably someone who knew me if we didn't get to them particulars i'm sorry my son our son I... <laughs> was your dress that caused all the problems it weren't even a dress it was a gift for you Ay, 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 ay. Just do one thing or another. Not be two people at once. That's all I'm saying. Siebzig Prozent. Now, dear, I won't hear any more of it. You won't hear any of it. Not in front of the men. You toad. All right, smile, smile. Do not embarrass me. Couldn't happen to a less deserving fellow. Mr. Milton, I should like to have a word with you. Milton? Mr. Geddes? Hey, I heard we had another incident with the uh, Laramie boys. Yeah, there was an incident. Well, I mean to scare me. Are you scared? A little. I've got a lot invested in this place, and, and not just the land, but, but my family. It's, uh, it's hard to explain. I understand. I'll do my best to keep you safe, sir. I know you will. So how's your family? Just fine. I should probably head back. <laughs> yeah, I know how it is. <laughs> How'd you get home? Okay, I guess. Better? Sure, I'm just tired. I know. Anybody want some more? Hmm. No, I'm Thank good. You. I miss Mr. Pearson. John Marston, you're such a pig. <laughs> 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 All right, it's getting late. Let's get some rest. Good night, Jack. Good night, Mama. Good night, Jack. Good night, Pa. What the hell was that? What are you? What are you doing? Good job, Abigail. Lock this door behind me. 
Don't open it unless you know it's me. Ay, ay, ay. Jim Milton saved my life. It's Mr. Abel. Yeah, of course, it's Mr. Abel. I can't believe he thinks he can scare me out of here. Well, I guess we're getting your cattle back, I guess sir. we are. Can you go too, Tom? Of course, sir. All right, Jim. I know you can handle yourself. A little. Go get your guns and head out. Guns? Oh, don't play coy with me, son. We need your help. I don't care what you used to do or what your, your, your name is. This is the land of second chances. Understood. Okay. Come in, it's me. What was it? Mr. Getty's cattle was taken. God, I'm sorry to hear that. What are you doing in that thing? Mr. Getty's been real good to us. We, I. What are you doing? My job, Abigail. My goddamn job. I'll lead the way. This is gonna be the last we hear out of them. Here, we'll be better on foot. Okay, if you say so. That's the place up ahead. There's our cows. A couple guards out front. A couple more around the side, I imagine. Let's get a closer look. Let's go. Yeah, there's plenty of guards. I'm gonna head straight in. Yep, Tom. You head up there and try and give us some cover. Abe, you're gonna try and flank the place and come in from the back. I'll give you a minute or two, then I'm heading in. Yes, sir. Okay. Hey! Hey! You boys been coming up the pronghorn! I thought I'd come down here! You're all so tough! Damn, get it. I'm 
coming. He's a shooter, all right. Here comes the ball. That woman of yours got the look of a woman ain't had a real ride in her life. She's got to make do with some piss poor stinking farmhand. Hey, hey, you tell her I'll let her in my sheets. As long as she. Oh oh. Oh oh. Game looks crashed. Yep, crash. Game crash. Great. Starten wir neu. Mal sehen, was da gespeichert hat. Coinbuff. Wie sieht's mit dem Coinbuff aus?
Oh, toll. should like to have a word with you. Mr. Geddes? Hey, I heard we had another incident with the uh, Laramie boys. Yeah, there was an incident. Well, I mean to scare me. Jim, you gotta do something. Two of them by the stall. They got home. It's over. It's a rich man. Who's this? New hand. Tough guy, they just took on. Yeah, I heard about you. Come on. You put him down, all right. They've killed Mr. Tobert, and they've stolen my goddamn cattle. You men okay? I think so. Yeah. Jim Milton saved my life. It's Mr. Abel. Yeah, of course, it's Mr. Abel. I can't believe he thinks he can scare me out. I'll lead the way. This is going to be the last we hear out of him. Yeah, yeah, right. Boah, oh, reite nicht so dicht neben mir. Nochmal alle am Roten. That's the place up ahead. There's our cows. Hey! Hey! You boys been coming up the pronghorn. I thought I'd come down here. You're all so tough. Come have a word with me. You here to cut a deal? You're too late, partner. Ich seh die ja nicht.
tell him it says something about my wife. Piss speaking, shit shoveling, backwoods, sacker, no good, crack. Nein! Nein! Schlägt er mich hier zusammen? Alle umgebracht. doing my job. Now, I don't think they'll be back tonight, but how about, Abe, just in case you stay up. Yep. See anything or hear anything, you fire that rifle three times. Three times. We'll all come in. Will do. Well, well said. And thank you, Mr. Milton. Truly. Just glad to be a service, sir. <laughs> I understand. You get some rest. Thank you, Mr. Geddes. What? What? What choice did I have? Just answer me that. What was I supposed to do? There's a telegram messenger for you over there, in, near the house. There is? Okay. Thanks, Abe. What do you think you want? 
Yeah. I have no idea. But I doubt someone wants to give me a big pile of money. Hi, Sam. Thanks, Abe. Excuse me, mister. I'm Jim Milton. Heard you had a telegram for me? Yes, here. Sign there. Thank you. Huh? Jim, stop. If you're the JM I know, stop. It's Sadie Adler. I've got something to discuss. Pay good. Meet me in saloon in Valentine. There most days. Stop. Sadie Adler. I'll be damned. Abigail. Na toll. Darling John, a kind lady in the village helped me write this. She had men problems of her own, but that's a different story. Listen, I have begged you, but it don't seem to make much difference. I've tried everything I know to make you grow up. And you know I love you, but loving you means I can't watch you do this. Time after time, we've had to run because of your behavior and your decisions. We got a son. I got a son. And I love our son enough that I can't have him around while you're like this. I had so many dreams, John. I hoped you would change. We all saw what happened to them that didn't, but you... Part of you is hellbent on ending up the same way. And I love you too much to watch that no more. Abigail. Where's the wife, Milton? Uh, she's out. I saw her leaving with the boy and the bags. What's going on? You married Mr. Dickens? No. That don't surprise me. What'd she do? Catch you with a showgirl? Or hear about you shooting more fellas over by Strawberry? Just who are you, Jim Milton? I'm a family man. I can handle a gun, sure. Them men shot at me. Just interested, that's all. Ain't nothing interesting. Unless you find gossip about a man's marriage worthy of your time. I guess not. There's work to be done. Unless you're running off too. I ain't going nowhere. I'm here to work. Gotta save money, get her what she wants. What does she want? She wants a place of her own. Said she found a plot up at Beecher's Hope. You? A rancher? You'll starve. Probably. <laughs> Keep yourself busy. Take your mind off it. Yo, what am I wearing? Kacke schaufeln.
That's her fool. Hey, you know, I was wrong about you. Turned into a fine worker, Jim Milton. Oh, thank you. Means a lot. Hey, you think I could speak with Mr. Geddes? See if maybe he's open to offering me some guidance? No, I'm sure he'd be happy to hear you speak, at least. Thank you, Mr. Dickens. Yawn, I did. Hey, son. How's that bull? Fine, Mr. Milton. Is your father in? Could I have a word? Sure. I'll just get him. Pa! Hey, I'm right, right here. <sighs> What's the problem, Milton? I'm sorry for the disturbance, sir. Oh, no problem. My wife, she just began her morning discourse on the subject of my faults. An experience I think every man can relate to. In some ways, my wife... My wife also has issues with some of the decisions I've made. Real issues. Hmm? Do you believe a man can change, sir? Where is this heading? I guess I don't know. <clears throat> I've tried to be a good hand. I've worked hard to secure your property. And for that, we are grateful. And you've paid me well, besides. The thing is, I suppose, I need to get a place of my own so I can prove to my wife that I've changed. I understand. But I ain't got much money. I ain't asking to borrow none. But maybe you could go to the bank and put in a good word so they could give me a loan. A loan, huh? So I can buy that place, Beecher's Hope? Yes, I know it. Yes, of course, sure. It'd be, it'd be my pleasure. But take my advice, Milton. Take your money and go buy passage on a boat. Go to Brazil and forget all about family. I'm just joking, son. Just make sure you deal with Ansel Atherton at the bank. He's a distant cousin. He has my name. Tell him to ask me direct himself. You'll get what you need. Thank you, sir. Yeah, I was young and dumb once, too. You'll get her back. Auf zur Bank. Wo sollte ich noch mal hin? Okay. Und Sadie ist in Valentine. Dann reiten wir mal nach Valentine.
Na, verfolgt der mich? Ein weiter Weg. Schon fast da. Nicht mehr weit. You to leave it, Bubba. I thought to myself, who this little girl thinks she'd tell it anything to? Oh, enjoy your drink in peace. <laughs> I ain't got no business with you right now. What that mean? For the last time. Leave me alone! Or what? Ah! What was that? Get the hell out of here before she kills us all! You! You! Get out of here! Marston. It's good to see you. <laughs> I thought I heard a rumor you was alive. Jim Milton, that you? Guess I didn't do it. Real good job of hiding my identity. <laughs> we didn't hear nothing about you. You, you killed feller up by Roanoke? Sure did. I thought that sounded like you and Abigail and Jack. She? She's fine. <laughs> 
was always so kind to me. I'm looking to buy some property. Beecher's Hope, west of Blackwater. I'm kind of a farmer now. <laughs> Did you? Oh, you know how it is. Bounties mostly and some other stuff. Good and bad. Are you any interest in bounties? No, uh, I've gone straight. Huh? Sort of. Oh, oh it's legal. And uh, usually. Then, maybe. Come on, then. What? Where are we headed? Strawberry. Got on the run from New York. Good price for it. What do you do? Rob a bank. With a gun? No, with a pan. He's an accountant, I think. Sounds easy. Come on, we got a bit of a ride. I know. Your telegram. You said you had something to discuss. I didn't think we'd be chasing down an outlaw. There's something else. What? Micah. Micah? I think so. I heard of someone sounded like him. Uh, about your back? Okay. We always said, if we found him... I know what we said we'd do. That ain't changed. I didn't think I'd see any of you again after you left for the Yukon. Now we came back. Didn't strike it rich, as you can see. But you're a rancher now. I aim to be. Probably why I can't afford it. <laughs> this country's becoming real civilized. Bad folk won't be around for long. Keine Schurken mehr. <laughs> Kirk, about 45? No, sir. If we get plenty of New Yorkers here. It's a resort town, you see. The Adirondacks of the West, the mayor calls it. But <laughs> I can't remember any of the bastards. Okay. Ask in the general store or the post office. They tend to know who's in residence for the season, as we say. Season? Good lord. Post office. Excuse me, friend. I'm looking for a Nathan Kirk, a fellow from New York. Got any mail for him? Kirk? Kirk? No, not so as I would remember. Curly, I think. Oh, she's a woman. <laughs> Ask in the Welcome Center. Most tourists check in there. Okay, thank you. Welcome Center, okay. There you are. He's staying in the Welcome Center. What now? You head in there and try to flush him out. Easy enough. You seen a fella? A fella from New York? Bald guy? Yeah. 
A few New Yorkers come here in search of the West. This one's a wanted man. I work for the government. Sort of. His name's Nathan Kirk. Mr. Kirk? But he's so charming. Is he staying here? He's, uh, up in room three. I'm gonna go pay him a visit. It's government business. How exciting. Oh, was liegt denn hier? Ein Zigarettenbild. Mr. Kirk! Mr. Kirk, you in there? Who is it? It's just a friend. Just a friend. Come on, open the door. I didn't do it. I didn't do it! Stop! <gasps> Hey! That's Nathan Kirk! Oh! Got him? Oh, shut up! <laughs> Come on, jump on! Oh. Let's go, girl. We gotta get after him! Remember, we want him alive, though! I know! We yeah. are! Was denn? Hier kann man hier schon mal plündern. Speak to the bank over in Blackwater. Get a loan for the property. Might make them happy to see I've got a boss. So I've got a couple of other leads I could use your help with if you're interested. I'm usually at the saloon in Blackwater. I need money pretty bad, so I'll come find you. Pferd, who is to Pferd?
Hallo Skidas. Willkommen. Dann war sonst noch eine Mission. Nee, ne? Reiten wir da mal hin. So, Blackwater, das dauert sicherlich einen Moment, bis ich da bin. Drei, drei, vier. Arnswehr, drei, drei, vier. Machen wir einen neuen Code. Dün, 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 dün. Oh shit! Mann. Der Fug. Skinner, Brüder. Ein Dollar. Okay. Der schon wieder. Help a blind man. Help a blind man. A dollar for your future. A dollar for your fate. Take this. Embrace those who love you. Not the memory of those who pretended to. Thank you. I guess.
Spielfehler. Rockstar. Was programmiert ihr für ein Müll? New Patch and Game Crashes more than before. GG Rockstar. Rakuda, willkommen. Oder willkommen, falls du Deutsch sprichst. <lacht> Bist du? Sprichst Deutsch? Ja, willkommen. Ich bin jetzt schon im Epilog. Also... Hauptspiel ist glaube ich schon durch. Ui, das sieht aber schlimm aus. Regnet bestimmt gleich. Steht doch mal, ja. Mr. Geddes over at Pronghorn Ranch. Oh, <lacht> yeah, Mr. Atherton is in his office. Hey, please head in. Thank you. Yeah. Can I help you? I hope so. <clears throat> I want a loan, sir. A line of credit. So I can buy some property? What property? An old ranch? Beecher's Hope? <lacht> oh. That old dump? I know it ain't much, but I ain't much of a farmer either. But I will get there. That is a very unusual way of asking for a loan. Mr. Marston. Marston. Only folk around here call me Milton. It's kind of a joke, I guess. <laughs> a joke, huh? Yeah. Which folk? Mr. Geddes. I work for him. He said that you could help me out. I mean, if you can. So old David Geddes told you I'm the kind of man to loan a man with two names money so he can buy a run-down farm on account of his lack of farming skills, huh? Don't sound too promising when you put it like that. Well, how would you put it? 
Sorry to waste your time, sir. Oh, sit down. I'm sure we can figure something out. Now, of course, we'll be expecting you to make regular payments, and given a lack of much evidence you got any means of repaying, the terms won't be too great. But if my cousin vouches for you, it'll be okay with the bank. Really? <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you. Now, of course, we'll be expecting our money back regular as clockwork until the debt's settled. Otherwise, the farm reverts to the bank, no matter how much you paid. I understand. Mm -hmm. Well, why don't you go check out the land while I fix the contracts and talk to Mr. Geddes? Oh, I heard there's squatters up there. We've been having so many problems recently, they'll need clearing on. Sure. Well, come back when you're done, and we'll fix up the paperwork. Muss ich erstmal irgendwelche Möbelis verjagen? Kriegen wir hin. Sucht er immer noch, sagt sein Gavin. 18 Dollar. 18 Dollar kommen wir nicht wie weit. So. Dann reiten wir da mal hin. Der hat seinen Freund schon das halbe Spiel ver verloren und sucht danach. <lacht> Asa hat ihm nicht geholfen und John wird ihm auch nicht helfen. Was haben wir denn als Schönheit? Elbautomatische Flinte. Sieht nach Indianergebiet aus. <lacht> Oben Leute mit Pfeile und Schädel. I hope so. Who's in charge here? No one, mister. This is a free country. A free country. Now that I ain't so sure about. Listen, I'm buying this land. I'm afraid, I'm afraid you guys are gonna have to go somewhere else. Who's this? I ain't sure. Some fancy damn city boy says he owns this land. Well, he's gone. Owns it? That's what he says. Okay. And how come we live in here? I ain't sure. I was born a simple man. Hmm. Get the hell out of here. This land belongs to me now. Ain't nothing on this earth belongs to no one, partner. Looks like you made your decision then, partner.
done. Clear. <laughs> make out? Well, let's just say there are no more squatters. Okay. Well, got your paperwork ready. Now, you sure about buying this place? It's really run down, and the price isn't too great. I think it would mean a lot for my wife. At least mean I was listening to her. Okay. Well, sign here and here. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh. Telefon. I'm gleich wieder da. So, da bin ich wieder. Telefon beendet. Now we own you, Mr. Marston, and we own Mr. Milton, too, and we own your property. But you can buy your freedom each week. Eventually, you will be a homeowner. I understand. Congratulations. You are now a real American, indebted and owned by the bank. <laughs> I'm choking. They own me. They just own your property. Now, you can also use this line of credit for any home improvements you need to make, of course. I can? Sure. Be good, Mr. Marston. Welcome to home ownership. It's a beautiful thing. Let your wife know what to complain about. <laughs> Just joking. <laughs> okay. Well, it is you. Well, I never. I, I thought you was dead, boy. Dead. Uncle? The very same. Come here. <laughs> I saw you going into the bank, and by the looks of things, you ain't robbed it. I've gone straight. Oh, bull crap. No, for real. <laughs> well, I'm trying. All these years, you ain't changed a bit. Maybe a little bit. I thought you was dead. <laughs> not yet. Well, I got some things to take care no, of. No, not a problem. I'll come too. <laughs> no, you don't have to. Oh, no, I'm real sick, John. Lumbago. It's uh, slow and... Painful death, my brother. <laughs> Evidently. Oh, have a little pity, will you? Huh? Come on, then. All right. <laughs> Na toll, jetzt habe ich den noch mal. Seems 
stupid. I don't care how I see. Well, now where west are we headed, you damn grunting fool? This ranch, I... A ranch I bought just now. Is that what you were doing in the bank? Spending all your money? Hold oh, on, on a ranch in the armpit of West Elizabeth. Oh, my lord. <laughs> Not that that's any of your concern, but... I was in the bank borrowing the money. Well, that's even worse. Yeah, you can run from a bounty, John. You can't run from a bank. Is Abigail there? No. She's, uh... Her and Jack are waiting until I'm set up before joining me out here. <laughs> you mean she left you? Oh, I never thought she was a smart woman, but, you know, this makes me think maybe I was wrong. <laughs> no more of that. I just bought this place. And you're lucky I'm showing it to you and not looking for a place to bury you out here. This is it. Look at her. Okay. What do you think? Why exactly did you buy this dump? For Abigail? Why? Is she an idiot? No. What were you thinking? I don't know. She said she wanted it. She ever seen it? What are we going to farm here? <laughs> Rocks? We? You don't have a hope here without a wise hand at the tiller. Enough of that. Get out of here. On your way. No, you're stuck with me. Seems I'm stuck with you. John, the rock farmer. <laughs> so, you think I'm an idiot? No. <laughs> I know you're an idiot. Der säuft nur den ganzen Tag. Alter Schluckspecht. Itcher Soap. Okay, ich kann nicht speichern, na richtig super. Ey. Warum ist gerade ein Kapitel zu Ende gegangen, wenn ich nicht speichern kann? Was ist das für ein Bullshit? Bullshit. Kann ich jetzt speichern? Jetzt kann ich speichern. Äh Überschreiben wir das. 78 Prozent. Das geht noch einen Moment. Das machen wir aber morgen. Den Rest. Wir machen... 447 hatten wir als Code, ne? So, beenden wir das. Close. 447 Good luck Congrats Dann folgt mir auf Twitter oder YouTube Ich bin morgen wieder da Danke fürs Zuschauen, danke für die Follows und sowas alles. Winke, winke, goodbye.